Hello again everyone, I'm the Dude 5 back with another video. Today we'll be continuing in from his second son with part 3, Dupe Trooper Go Boom. Guys, please let me know what you think of my new intro in the comments section below. I was finally able to figure out how to create my own custom intro. Um, eventually it will, uh, I will change the logo to reflect my channel name, my new channel name, I'm the Dude Games. I figure since I'm trying to grow my channel, I want to make things look more official. I'm going to start uh, trying to edit my thumbnails so they look a little bit better, look a little bit more professional. I have my own intro now for my channel that I'm going to put at the beginning of uh, each of my videos. And eventually the logo in my intro will say I'm the Dude Games rather than I'm the Dude 5. So when I welcome you guys to my channel from now on, I will welcome you to I'm the Dude Games. And I will introduce myself still as I'm the Dude 5 since that's who I am. Obviously, my uh, for those of you that don't know, and if you don't know, you need to go watch it because it's a great movie. Uh, go freaking watch uh, The Big Lebowski because it's a great movie, and that's how my I got the inspiration for my username, and now for my uh, my channel. So, since I'm trying to grow my channel, I just wanted to change the name to something that sounded better, something that sounds and looks more professional, so that way when people new people come to view my channel and subscribe. Um, I don't look like as much of a noob, I guess. <laughs> so we're gonna take these guys out really quick. We're gonna be gaining our new neon powers. I'm not really new, this game's been out a while, but we're gonna be gaining our neon powers in this episode. And I will be right back. Apparently I gotta go take out a DUP station in order to progress forward with this mission. So I will be back in just a quick second, guys. Alrighty, now that we took care of that, let's go ahead and start this next mission. Bannerman. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Yeah, I just heard. And can we please not use the B word? What? A bioterrorist? Yeah, you know, that's just a Those slur. Those smoke bombs are really handy to incapacitate enemies really quickly. Man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down and find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right, they just found a body at Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous? Yeah. <clears throat> so apparently there's a rogue conduit sniping enemies. This conduit has neon powers, which I think are incredibly cool. I think the only thing cooler than the neon powers in this game are the television powers. Which I didn't think would be possible, but I guess so. <laughs> Oh, come on! Interrupt me in the middle of my orbital drop, you piece of crap. Banzai! That's always fun. And I love how, like, if you choose to be good, when you do your orbital drop, um, any enemies that are caught in the orbital, orbital drop are um, incapacitated um, rather than killed. I got it. I'll put my phasers on stun. Okay, it your way. I'm past your boys in blue. Thank you. Although, what's the use of having smoke powers if you're not going to use them? Ah, there's my baby brother. Whoa! 
Well, found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. There's your wounds. I wonder what kind of power did this. Fire blast or lasers? Ooh, what about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Bannerman. <laughs> Bro, you really need to let that go. The artwork in this game is absolutely stunning, especially with like all the the neon and the the spray paint and the graffiti. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. <laughs> he can't blink if he's dead, Delson. Uh Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Yeah, the DUP's just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. It has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. Yeah, that'll help. I'm always so tempted to attack the cops in these games, but since I'm being good, I'm like, no, don't smoke the pigs. Help the pigs out. <laughs> I don't know what it is, there's just something oddly satisfying about attacking police in video games. It's because police in video games are a-holes. Police in real life are usually pretty friendly. Chances are there's gonna be a lot of DUP Depending on where you live, I don't know. Right. First, wow. Well, hate to interrupt really this catch this talk, guy. but getting luck with that here. first victim? Ah, yeah, well, so is mine. No, nothing. I must not have had a record. Huh. From the looks of the guy, I at least would have expected a drug bust or two. Looks like the lines of dialogue were a little garbled there because I ended up skipping over something, I don't know. And I walked into a huge DUP ambush. Yeah, you don't see me because I'm on the roof, dingus. Stop shooting me! I cannot stress enough how useful staying on rooftops in these games is. I mean, you still get attacked, but you'll take less flack if you're on a rooftop rather than on the ground. Especially if there's a lot of enemies on the ground, you really don't want to go down there unless you know you can take them all out. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna orbital drop these fools. Fuck it. Say Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Smokey the bear. <laughs> no, it's get the conduit. Jeez. And good luck with that. <laughs> and and good luck with that. Smoke power is, is just really cool. Where are you? Well, there you are, running like a little pussy. Kaboom. <laughs> Just launched his ass. And that's how you take care of that.
All right, now can I investigate this crime scene in peace? Thank you. Well, this conduit sure got a certain style. Kind of nouveau mm. sick. Okay, I just need... Let me guess, face and wounds. If it's not too much trouble. All right, there you go. Stand by for wounds. No need. I got a hit on the face. The guy's a drug dealer. Rap sheet's a mile long. Look around for his stash. Might give us a clue why the sniper chose him. Holy! Holy what? What holy? Delson, are you okay? Yeah. Found our sniper going after him. Be careful. Real original advice. Wait, 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 don't impale me! I come in peace! It's okay! It's okay, I'm one of you! I mean, one of us! You really gotta be careful with this chick. Would you slow down? I'm not gonna hurt you! God, especially if you don't slow down. Yeah, she's fast. Stop! Come back! Crazy. Nice meeting you. You get him? No, he ran fast, like, like really, really fast. Conduit fast, man. Screw flesh eating death gaze. I'm with that. No, don't be greedy. Funny thing, man. I just before every shot, you can <laughs> see the neon sign behind him. Screw flesh eating death gaze. I want that. <laughs> then head back to the sign. See what you can find. You should see what this guy can do, man. Like, lasers or something. I'm telling you, it would be great to have a one-two punch like that and smoke when I get to Augustine. Take it easy. We've got to find him again first. I still got to finish playing through Infamous First Light, but they did create uh, Infamous First Light as a side game, as a kind of a prelude. To infamous Second Son and uh, First Light shows uh, features uh, Fetch Walker um, as the main protagonist, um, who Delson gets his neon powers from, and she's a she's a real spark plug. Let me tell you. All right, I'm here. Of course, Any if you choose evil in this for? game, you get to kind of you know Anything fool around with her, even though they don't snipers. really show it. Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? You should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What? What does that even mean? I, I don't know. It's just girled up. Girl stuff. Like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting. And it is definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay. It's called cursive. Look, just Send me you photos sexist. Of anything you think might help. Red, she was dropping hints left and right. You should have been able to pick up on the fact that the sniper was a she, not a he. Brent Spiner, hey, aka Data on Star Trek The Next Generation. I'm kidding. Yeah, they're like size <laughs> negative. Seriously? A serial killer who reached Jane Eyre? These guys are so sexist. Jane Eyre is like I'm the sorry. Female catcher in the rye. Okay, those definitely very likely belong yeah. to a woman. Yeah, that's accurate. Like you know. So, anything else interesting? Relax, I'm like, looking. God, I hope so. <laughs> I guess this counts as interesting. At first I thought Brent was her boyfriend, but then it's actually revealed that, uh, I think he was her brother. You know, if I had smoke and lasers, I could, like, put on hmm. light shows in our living room. Oh, that'd be putting your powers to good use. 
Hey, Reg, I was, uh, I was just thinking about the bras. Well, stop, okay? Seriously, just stop. Okay, I'm thinking when I get to Augustine, it's gonna thinking be like, about stealing them. Smoke, and then once I got on the ropes, it's like zap, zap. I'll whip out the laser show. Good to have a plan. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest. He is such a kid with powers. Get this: found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death: a single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. Sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. Sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah. Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying what? The DUP is trying to scare people? Your job is to control the panic. Exactly. No, their job... <laughs> their job is to be evil. Okay. You don't know shit about shit, Reggie. Do you honestly trust somebody like the DUP? When their methods... When their, their ends always justify the means... And their methods are less than savory. The more panic they can cause, the less likely people are willing to put up right, a struggle about them a making a hostile takeover in their area. I hate to go all cop on you, but it is the duty of every citizen to step up when they witness a crime in progress. So now you do want me killing people with my powers? I didn't say kill them, just Delson. I heard shots. Did you kill them? No, no, just I did my duty as a citizen and gave them a few moments to think long and hard about the choices they've made. Did you destroy the drugs? Yes, I destroyed the drugs. Can I please go into the alley now? Fred, you should see this man. Speedy gone crazy Whoa. is a tagger. She's a pretty damn good one too. Yeah, well, don't forget she's a murderer, right? Pretty damn good one too. You gotta admit, yeah, well, girl makes a mean can't vortex. exactly say I'm against Fetch for killing a bunch of low-life drug dealers. Okay, she's good. Hey, maybe when you drain her powers, she is pretty good. They should combine talent. talents. Ha ha! I'm telling you, man, this is gonna work. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Don't you make fun of me? You're my brother. God damn it. <laughs> You really shouldn't leave lit candles unattended. She sets a lovely <laughs> altar. It's actually Especially with a guy with touching. smoke powers Cameras. in the room. Good touching and bad touching. And now we come to the ah. highlight of the <laughs> That's what he said. Okay, that is full bore crazy. Okay, so the girl stops off for takeout, comes here to sit with Neon Brent to tell him all about her day, while she chowders down. You know, Olaf's has a location on Alaskan Way. He's supposed to have one of the biggest neon signs in the city. Hey, if I had neon powers and a chowder Jones, that's where I'd hang. I am on my way. One of these days I'd like to visit Washington. My fiance was there for a short time and although times were difficult for her because of her family, um, I've heard it's very beautiful. It's a place I'd like to visit sometime. Create some happier memories for her at least. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Perhaps I've said too much already. I apologize. They never really go too much into the backstory of how Delson learned to climb. I mean, I guess you can link it to uh, his minor criminal background. Sister, sign our petition to get off the streets. Unless we stop this poison, we're 
of our youth will turn out like Fetch Walker. Fetch Walker? Her body was corrupted by drugs, and the drugs turned her into a vile terrorist. We need your help to keep our streets clean of that kind of filth. Filth, huh? Hey. No, the drugs didn't turn her into a bioterrorist. Her conduit spark ignited somehow. What's the name of that book? You know, the one that says, uh, let he who is without sin cast the first stone? Radical. Wow, I'm impressed with your impulse control. Um, but maybe you should take <laughs> it by the neon sign, yeah? Might be less conspicuous that way. Besides, she'll probably head there to recharge. Yeah, plus there's probably less people I want to kick the crap out of up there. That too. It, it was the Bible. By the way, what I was quoting, it was, it was the mm -hmm. Bible, if you, were, if you were wondering. I wasn't. <laughs> That's funny. Good. Surveillance. Yeah. Hobo style. Hobo style. You know, I've got a bit of a theory on the whole how conduits are still active in this world in Infamous Second Son. Maybe when Cole used the RFI... Why didn't I take some cash off those dealers? Money, why do you hate me? Hold on. Be my friend, Money. Come to me. Let's bond. No. It's okay. God. Hmm. Ah, not this again. Just oh, no, like I've last time, Delson, concentrate. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. Just leave me alone. So I'm thinking when maybe Cole activated the RFI and cured the conduit plague that the beast was spreading and hurting innocents as well as potential conduits. Um, when he used the RFI to cleanse all that, <laughs> it was originally believed that he cured all conduits and all humans of the plague and of the conduit gene all around the world. But I'm thinking what actually happened is maybe that RFI energy fast. and radiation actually sparked more conduits with the gene and sparked their abilities and actually activated them. They all deserved it. Like he probably cured the cured the plague that the beast was spreading. And cured and we just need a few more days. Like he cured the plague that the beast was spreading, but maybe he activated uh, dormant conduits. When, although it was believed that he ended up curing them of the gene. Maybe he activated dormant conduits and just cured people of the plague that the beast was spreading, and then he ended up killing the beast. Because that... Because, you know, the the good ending to Infamous 2 really doesn't leave much room for a sequel, another sequel in the Infamous series. So that's kind of the working theory I, I've kind of developed, is that the RFI ended up killing him killing the user but also killing the beast and curing everyone of the plague but activated dormant conduits because the ray sphere is what ended up giving Cole his powers and the radiation blast from that is also kind of what activates dormant conduits so something like the ray sphere like the RFI is known to have take powers away but maybe it had an adverse effect I don't know. Oh, no! It's not really explained too well. It's a bit of a plot hole, and I don't like it. I don't know if there's any forums that kind of explain how Infamous Second Son could be based off the good ending of Infamous 2. He's not here to take you back, dingus. 
He's here to leech your powers. <laughs> like that sounds any better. I'm sure she wouldn't want that either. Good news is less juice for her. Bad news, I'm not a night person. Well, maybe stop trying to kill me and we can let like, the Like, because the RFI was designed to, to take powers day. away when the Ray Sphere was designed to give powers. So I'm thinking, because the beast was infecting humans, but also potential conduits, so maybe whatever he did to potential conduits... So maybe whatever he did to potential conduits, uh, the RFI maybe activated the dormant conduits and yet still cured the plague and killed the beast, but also ended up killing the user of the Ray Sphere, which was... Um, Cole. Something like that had to have happened, because... Otherwise, conduits wouldn't be a thing, and infamous Second Son would not exist. Yeah, that's ain't working. Would you leave me alone? That was awesome. Oh my god. Listen to me, I'm not with Augustine! You're one of a goddamn robot! How many times? Wait, are there really robots? I just want some of your powers, that's all. Just leave me alone! <laughs> Oh my god, would you leave me alone? There we go, come on. Come on, Towers, I know you're in there. Surprise me. Alright, now I can start attacking her. Oh, I am so Just gonna leave me use alone. this! You can't hide. Where the hell are you? <sighs> Clever girl. This is a really cool uh, first boss battle. No, no, no. The first boss battle in the first infamous game was actually pretty intense, pretty grody looking, but pretty as intense. Girl, never thought it'd be me. As far as first boss battles go in an infamous My game, I think this is a close second. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but my brother Brent just grabbed our coats and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. Trucks were 
heaven. But then we always wanted more. And the withdrawal, agony. And well, of course, that's how addiction fix. works. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... Oh, jeez. <sighs> the government picked me up easy enough after that. But it wasn't a regular jail. They trained me to shoot, taught me how to kill. So on the day of the crash, I escaped with all those skills. Everything I needed to set things right. Brent. I promise, every dealer I find, I'm gonna burn your name in their chest. No one else is gonna suffer like we did. No brother. Nobody else. Her life is pretty tragic. She made her own choices, but she was also kind of forced into the situation. Just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing. Nelson. Murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. If she stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction. It's the same not thing. Gift. Affliction. Doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. Look, I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. You need to take it easy, Reg. It should be my responsibility. Yeah. Because responsibility is not exactly something you excel at. I got this. Fine. I'm here for the tribe, not the Holland bioterrorists. I'm a conduit. He's cool. He's normally cool. He's just not today. Yeah. Let's talk. Hmm. Yeah, Reggie really has no chill. It's a little upsetting. All right, this game is much more grounded as far as character development. I love it so much. And now that we have plenty of shards collected, let's go ahead and upgrade some of our new neon powers. Sorry, Ed. Oh, look who it is. What, is the meeting of the Conduit Club finally over? I just wanted to talk to her, okay? To see if maybe she could help us out. Oh, you are not doing the pouting Reggie thing, are you? You know I hate that. You know someone like that shouldn't be free to roam the streets. Uh, are you forgetting who else is someone like that? Not the same. Yes, I know. I'm your brother. And your brother is asking for your help and trying to stay really? alive. If you won't do it for me, then do it for the tribe. Fine, what do you need? Thank you. I need to see what else this new power can do, and you are my go-to guy when it comes to finding the core relay. There, I sent it. For the tribe and you. Thank you. I'll let you know what I get. No, I don't want to know what you get. Bye, pouting Reggie. Hey, Fetch, you know those glowing boxes the dupes put up on the <laughs> Pouting Reggie. Yeah, I've seen them. I think they can track us with them. 
Well, I think I figured out a way to use them to, like, tap into more powers for me. I was gonna try it out on the new neon power you gave me. Gave you? And I thought maybe you'd like to tag along, you know, maybe talk me through the new stuff. I already bagged my dealer limit for the day, so why the hell not? And there's my sweet girl. Screw you. Okay, there's supposed to be one of those things at, uh, second in Maine. Yeah, I've seen it before. <laughs> hey, Fetch, it's over here. Yeah. Cool. Kind of which trackers and me don't get along. Well, wait till you see this. That doesn't seem like such a good idea. You're on your own, D. <laughs> okay, so I guess the core relays actually use <clears throat> some sort of energy to track conduits they use like radioactive energy to track conduits but instead conduits can actually tap into them hey, for more uh, powers kind of show they're not exactly like the blast shards of the ray sphere hey i heard gunfire told you those things can track you no i think they were just on patrol well i found another one i left you signs to find it see it it's a neon marker uh yeah got it follow those Fetch, just stumbled across a bit of your handiwork. Think maybe you want to dial it down a notch? Gotta feed the fury, dude. <laughs> or maybe you don't feed the fury. It'll starve to death and you become a people person. Like me. Or, or maybe you can bite me. How hard? I'm kidding. Couple more shards never hurt anyone. I think I'm not sure. I forget, but uh, I think there's a power you can upgrade with neon in this. I think there's a power you can upgrade with Neon in this to actually have an infinite Neon run. Um, because in First Light, because you're playing as Fetch, uh, your Neon running abilities, they don't stop initially like Delson. Like, you can just infinitely run and never stop. It's really awesome. Ah, Neon Grenades. Yeah, yeah, you still need help? Don't need it, but I'll take it. You got this. I'll go find another one of those things. I just taught him a lesson and left him to think things over. I didn't kill him. Hey, we have powers. They don't. Means we have to be the better people. Cut him a little slack now and think about it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> So glad I don't do drugs. I mean, in this day and age, I know marijuana is still illegal in most states, but it is legal in some. As maybe, as far as maybe just medical uses, or even recreationally, but... <clears throat> 
drugs like cocaine, heroin, crystal meth, stuff like that. I mean, it's 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 god awful. You should never do it. Marijuana, it's really not the worst thing in the world. I personally don't smoke it, but and I don't smoke cigarettes. I just I mean, I occasionally drink socially or just to when I'm relaxing, but uh I don't know. It's all based on what you kind of believe in. Weed is weed. It's not. It doesn't really hurt anyone. It's it's a mellower, and people usually, you know, get along, and aren't so uptight, you know, when they smoke weed. So, to me, weed really isn't the worst thing in the world, but other drugs are, and other drugs can become such a horrible, horrible addiction. People die and people destroy their lives and other people's lives because of it. And that's their choice, and unfortunately, they suffer the consequences. But, you know. So, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> it's my little PSA. Don't do drugs. <laughs> You can get by just fine without them. Besides, I have other addictions that aren't drugs that are perfectly fine to be addicted to, like movies and video games and shows. But I don't let them rule my life. I still have a job and other things I do that are and productive and constructive. <laughs> Go ahead and get your convulsion on. Yeah, I totally want to seize out. It feels so good. I love the rush. <laughs> Ooh, neon rockets. Nice. Neon missiles. Missiles. Nice. <whistles> Sexy. Oh, you ain't concrete nothing, motherfucker. Oh no, I lost her clues. Oh, Neon Swirly Swirl, where are you? There you are. I found you.
I can freaking run up buildings. That's the sickest shit ever. ultimate power this is kick ass whatever that was I heard it from here you know anytime you just so cool hang around for one of these things I've been thinking about what you said before about the drug dealers on the street. Oh yeah? The way I see it, going after those ass gum dealers is just small time. But going up the food chain a little, finding the supplier, that'll change me. Well, I'd be glad to tag along next trip you make up the food chain. Just I think I've ever actually changed anything before. Sure. It'll be a date with a death toll. I'll give you a call if anything comes up. Alrighty. Well, that was productive. Upgrade some powers here. Good thing there's plenty of shards around. Alrighty. Well. I think that'll just about do it for this episode, guys. I want to thank everyone so much for watching. My name has been I'm the Dude 5. Please subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell icon for notifications of future content as I gain another heroic level here. Like this video as well as any others of mine that you may enjoy, including the one I provide on screen. I'm growing my channel. Hopefully, I'll get to 100 subs soon. My plan was before the year is out, but it might be sooner than that, so hopefully things go well. Thanks so guys so much for watching. I'll also provide a link on screen to my good friend Night the Wolf's YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe to him. And from now on, guys, it is I'm the Dude Games, and I am I'm the Dude 5. I am so happy to be kind of renovating my channel and bringing more content to you guys and looking more professional. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay classy. I will see you all out there in Seattle.